We live in a confusing society, especially when it comes to sex. On the one side, there are those who seem to find it deplorable. And on the other, there are those who seem to be totally obsessed by it. This dichotomy can create great discord within the soul. So you must make your judgments and take your actions very carefully in this area of life. And you must remember that not everything is as it seems. The area of sexuality is a very powerful area of your life and can affect you on many different levels. To understand the nature of sexuality in the signs, you must understand something about the basic nature of the signs themselves. So if we start with Aries, this is a cardinal fire sign and its basic purpose is to approach life as an individual. So they are natural leaders, they do have a bit of a temper, they can be impulsive, and they can be highly independent. Uh, that's not very good in relationships. They tend to attack things straight on. So what they need to do is they need to learn tolerance, they need to be uh, more of a planner, and they need to have more patience. You can be a crusader Aries, so you must believe in what you are pursuing. If you don't, don't pursue it. Life will teach you the need for humility, and what you'll find is your sex life will improve as you cooperate more with other people. And this will, of course, also go out into other areas of your life, and you'll be able to accomplish more of your goals. But there's still a secret that you need to know about. Remember that these interpretations are based on the sun sign as the ascending sign. There are 12 houses in the chart in astrology. And until you get your own chart done, you will not truly understand the great complexity and the great help that astrology can bring to your life and self-understanding and, and in really where your benefits are, where your challenges are, where things will be easy for you. So someday, please, get a real astrology chart done. And I don't mean a computer chart for 40 or 50 bucks. I mean a chart done by an individual astrologer who will spend hours looking at your chart and interpreting it. Then you'll have a much better product. Most of the stuff on the internet is computerized. It's not even looked at by a human being. So they really aren't as good as a real personal astrology chart. And now to get to your personal astrology chart, when we base these interpretations, we base the sexual and the energy shared between people on the eighth house, the house which the French might call the petite mort, the little death, the death that happens when two people get together and join their energy to become more than what one person can be. So now we'll look at your natural eighth house and what that means in a sexual connotation to you. If you are an Aries or have Aries rising, then Scorpio is on your eighth house. That is a fixed water sign and noted for sexuality and sensuality. Your sexual energy is magical, but it can be somewhat frightening to you. This is one area of life where you need to make a very deep connection with other beings. The power unleashed between partners brings an experience you cannot create alone. So learn to accept and cooperate deeply with another person. Make sure there is no manipulation, make sure there is no jealousy, for this would ruin a deeply spiritual, psychic, and physical journey. <laughs> Here's the secret. You may have to follow another person's lead. In Aries, you might not like that. I hope these interpretations will help you enjoy your relationships on a deeper level. Please subscribe to my 333 Magic 9 channel by hitting the button above, and I'll send you an invitation to my monthly free interpretations. So that can help you out every month. You can also share this video with a friend by hitting the button underneath. So again, I hope this helps you in your life. And if you'd like to learn more about astrology, just go to my website, professorastrology.com. 
You can go to the personal services page and you can find out how to order a chart so you'll know more about your life and much more than you could ever get out of the newspaper or out of a, a computerized horoscope. It just doesn't do it for you. So remember, astrology can be very helpful in giving you a deeper self-understanding. Have a great day and thanks for listening and watching.